Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 9. This came in at 218.3 megabytes on my iPhone 10, similarly in size on the iPad Pro 12.9, iPhone SE, and 7 Plus. Now, the public beta will be available either later today by the time you're watching this, or probably tomorrow. Now let's take a look at the build number. The build number is 16A5362A, and that A signifies we are very close to the final version. So this may be the last version until the Gold Master, which is pretty soon. Right now it's the 20th, we may see another version update on the 27th, and it might be finally released somewhere in these two weeks. There's rumor that these phones, these are the dummy units of the iPhone 10 Plus or iPhone 9, we may see those for pre-order on the 14th of September. So somewhere in this week, we'll probably see iOS 12. Now, as far as changes and updates to this version, on all of these, it's running really fast and smooth. I've had no hiccups whatsoever since installing it. Scrolling is very smooth. All of the apps are opening very fast. No issues there whatsoever. Everything seems to be working without a problem. So that part's really nice. Now, as far as changes, well, they've resolved two issues. I haven't found any specific changes, but they've resolved two issues, those being localization issues due to language errors. So maybe sometimes the languages were offset, the text was wrong, that should be fixed. Now there's 15 known issues still, and some of those are pretty major if you're using things like maps. So maps may not show traffic data. So if you go into maps, now it's showing me traffic right here, but if it's not showing you traffic, you'll actually have to go in and enable that. So you'll have to go in and enable that feature itself under the settings. So that part may not work. Now I've closed maps out and one of the things you may need to change is the start and stop times for downtime. That's under screen time. So if we go to settings and then you go to screen time, find that here under screen time is downtime. So we'll go to downtime downtime if you have this turned on your schedules if you had this set up prior to beta 9 your schedules could change so you may need to update that just so you know if you use this uh, i personally don't use the downtime feature now there's 15 known issues like i said and other than that apple pay still may not work siri shortcuts may not work when it's locked when your phone is locked siri suggestions on some devices may not work screen time info may be inaccurate if you're combining all these devices also there's no group facetime still that won't be available probably till ios 12.1 we're not sure ios 12 camera effects still may be unavailable and wi-fi calling on t-mobile may not work Everything else, though, should be working, and it feels fast and fluid. Now, I did run a couple different things on these different devices, so other than just the apps, I ran Fortnite on the iPhone 7 Plus, because I know a lot of you like to play that, so let's make sure that it works fine. So you'll see the game is loaded. It seems to work just fine. Everything's moving fast. Now, one thing to note, though, let me close out of this, but one thing to note is that the back of this is getting very warm where the processor is. Now, I expect that when you're using a lot of processing power, but that's just something to note. feels very warm. Now, I did run a Geekbench on the iPhone 10 just to compare it with previous weeks, so let's take a look at that. And this time around, now, I had to do this a couple different times, and the first time I got really low scores, I rebooted the phone, and they're much better. So I'm not sure what was going on there. The phone was really warm, and I normally don't run Geekbench when it's warm, so I let it cool. I didn't get improved results rebooted and now I've got these results however it feels very fast it feels as though it's the fastest time I've used this phone on iOS 12 I've got 4,221 for single core 10,357 for multi-core if I go to history you'll see it was pretty poor the previous times but compared to beta 8 here's beta 8 here beta 9 we're very close and honestly those numbers do not mean a whole lot when we're doing a ton of different work so I wouldn't compare that and be too concerned. Now, people have asked me how my storage has been as far as the system storage and overall usage. Now, this is my storage from beta eight. I took this before I updated. You'll see I'm using 59.6 gigabytes of 64 gigabytes and system is using 41.03 gigabytes of storage. This was on beta eight. Let's take a look at beta nine and it seems to have gotten better. If I go to iPhone storage, now it's only using 40 gigabytes of overall storage. And if I go all the way down to system, you'll see 22.54 gigabytes. So it's deleted a bunch of background system storage. Whatever it was doing, I'm not sure. But I gained 20 gigabytes in this one, which is pretty 
pretty significant on this device. Now across all these devices, I'll be using them over the next few days before I do a follow up and see how it compares. But battery on beta eight was much better for me than the previous betas. And it will take a few days to know how it is. So if I go back here, we'll go to battery. We'll see if my battery health has gone down. It's still at a hundred percent on this device and I'm just waiting for it to give me screen on time, but you'll see four hours and six minutes of actual screen on time. This is different than iOS 11. iOS 11 screen time and usage was much higher because it wasn't actual screen time. And then we'll take a look at averages three and a half hours screen time before it was one and a half to two and a half for me. So it's much improved. So that's it for this beta. Nothing really exciting and new. I've looked all over the place. There might be little tweaks here and there to different icons. Uh, I like to cover the major things, but let me know if you've found anything significant in the different settings or anything. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I always link it in the description in every video. So be sure to check that out. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.